Ian Chaz on guitars. Hello, welcome. Hi. So Lolita, you are performing at Full Blast Pinoy Super Bands on October 20. Yes. What can we expect from this show? Lahat ng hits, no? All the popular songs na nirelease namin way back na bata pa kami. <laughs> Maririnig nila yon. And of course, new songs and a lot more mga bands na noon at saka ngayon. And it's not just you guys who are performing on October 20. It's a concert featuring OPM rock icons. Yes, uh, Pinoy super band plus uh, uh, like uh, the, the legendary uh, Juan de la Cruz band. Uh, and then din ang The Youth, ang The Woods. At siyempre ako, kasama ko ang Asim band and the boys. Oh, at siyempre ang uh, Hilera, ang Keso, uh, si Dong Abay. At marami pang iba. Mm -mm. And I'm sure you've heard a lot of these uh, bands live already. But who are you most looking forward to seeing? Siyempre, gusto ko pa rin mamakita mag-perform live ang Juan de la Cruz. <laughs> Kasi sila yung nag-umpisa. And then marami nang sumunod. And, uh, at marami pang umusbong. Uh, your first song for us tonight is Masdan Mo Ang Kapeligiran. It's yes. an iconic song. Can mm -hmm. you bring us back to when you first wrote this song with Asin? Ah, yes. Uh, I wrote this song with Saro Banyar Jr. who died March 18, 1993. No, actually, it was his concept. No, concepto niya ito. So, nag-collaborate kami dalawa kasi pinanganak siya sa Mindanao. And I grew up in Malate. I was born and raised in Malate. So, nag-combine nag yung aming experience about the environment. Like, nung araw, I used to go swimming dyan sa Rojas Boulevard. But now, hindi mo na pwedeng gawin. So, isa yun sa mga, sa mga karanasan ko na hindi na mag, mga magawa ng mga kabataan ngayon. And Saro was, you know, coming from Mindanao, doon siya nang galing and beautiful place, no? Tapos yun, uh, tinuloy namin yun, yung, yung masdan mo ang kapaligiran. At hanggang ngayon naman, talagang matitigas pa rin ang ulo na <laughs> pinapaalala pa rin namin na alagaan natin talaga ang, ang kapaligiran, especially ang dami nang nangyayari ngayon. Why else is this song special to you? Kasi totoo yun. It's true. It's happening. No, actually, uh, mas dalmo ang kapaligiran was released 1978. Ang DENR was released 1988. So we were ahead of <laughs> and that's true. You know, so I got this award for pioneering yung the song about environment, no? Uh -oh. And then I said, it was during Corey's time, no? I got the award and si, uh, si uh, Faktoran pa yung secretary then. And then I said, sabi ko, oh, salamat sa award after, after 15 years, 14 years, ngayon nyo lang naintindihan yung kanta. <laughs> and until now, yun pa rin ang problema. Pinag-aawayan pa rin, no? And we're going to hear this song yes. at Full Blast, Pinoy Super Band. Yes, Pinoy uh, And we're also Superband. going to hear it now, tonight? Oh, oh. Yes. Na, you, na, ito, ito talaga, siyempre nagbabago ang panahon. I am going to play this song na first released album namin, 1978 album. And I'm going to play it with the boys of Asin Band. All right, take it away. Oh, thank you. Sa iyong mga kapalihiran Kahit dumi na ng hangin 
pati na ang mga ilog natin. Hindi na masama ang pagkulat at malayo-layo na rin ang ating narating. Ngunit mastan mo ang tubig sa dagat Ngayon ay naging itin Ang mga duming ating ikinalat sa angin Sa langit, huwag na natin paabutin Upang kung tayo'y pumanaw man sa riwang hangin Sa langit natin matitikman Sa aking pagpalaw, sana ay tag-ulan. Gitara ko ay aking dadalhin upang sa ulap na lang tayo magkandahan. Just joining us now, that was Lolita Carbon from Asin with the boys yes. performing Mas Dan Mo Ang Kapaligiran. It's an iconic song, and of course, um, Miss Lolita, you are also you're a legend in the Philippine music industry. <laughs> Is there anything that you still want to accomplish? Oh, marami pa, marami. Siyempre, gusto kong ipagpatuloy ang, ang sinimulang naming legacy mm. of awareness, and siyempre, maging uh, ehemplo, no? Kung May kasabihan tayo, huli man daw, magaling na hahabol pa rin. I mean, you know, uh, hanggang ngayon, learning pa rin ang lahat ng nangyayari sa kapaligiran natin. So, I hope I could be, you know, um, an extension of uh, inspirations to sa lahat. And of course, sa mga fellow musicians and artists. You mentioned earlier na walang masyadong nag-iba from when you first released uh, mas dan mo ang kapaligiran. Is there anything that has changed? Um, marami. Unang-una, tumaba ako. <laughs> <laughs> no, joke, joke. Actually, uh, marami nga siguro hindi nakinig muna that oh. time, no? Katulad ng sinasabi ni Mike Hanapol na dati narinig lang nila sa utak nila 
pero matagal bago nila na-absorb nang ibig sabihin pala eh disiplina you know so it took a long ma mahaba mahaba yung proseso na pa paano pa nila na paano nila naintindihan or sana nga uh, patuloy pa rin ang ang uh, inspirasyon ng mga awiting ito dahil yun lang ang pwede namin i-share na ipaalala sa kanila lagi na ito yun your next song for us tonight is Himig ng Pag-ibig oh yes Himig ng Pag-ibig is the first love song that I wrote. Uh -oh. uh, from the second album na nirelease din namin, 19... Kasi ang Masdan mo ang Kapaligiran was released 1978. At uh, the, ang pangalawang album na nirelease namin was yung nga, Himig ng Pag-ibig. And ito yung unang-unang love song na sinulat ko. What mm -hmm. inspired this love song? Uh, <laughs> marami. Oh, um, marami siyempre love of nature, love of you know, sa family and yun, sarili mong ano. Pero eh, kasi itong itong love song na to, ito yung walang hatred. You no, know, I was so young when I wrote that song. So ito yung wala bata ka lang sinulat sinulat mo. Although uh, yung 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 uh, sakit sa kamo na nararamdaman eh, but nung sinulat ko to, talagang I was just a teenager na na-inspired lang siguro ako whenever I see beautiful couples. You know? Parang ganon. And pag nakakakita ka ng taong in love, parang na-in love ka na rin. Yung ganon. Alright, let's hear it. This is Himig ng Pag-ibig. Oh, yes.
Hi guys, if you are just joining us now, that was Lolita Carbon of Asin and the Boys with Himig ng Pag-ibig. It's just one of the songs that you're gonna play at Full Blast. Yes, baka magalit ang tao pag hindi ko kinantayan. Kaya Full Blast. Full Blast. So aside from the OPM rock icons that are going to be at the concert, there may mga bago ding banda na yes, tutugtog um, doon. Yes, oh, maganda nga dahil may mga nag 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 na, na invite din na magpa-perform ang ang Hilera, ang Queso, um ang uh, well, of course, ang Razor Back and Jan, no, with uh, of course, and Jan si Basti Artadi. And uh, yon, ay ito um, um, umpisa pa lang ito, no. So, mag enjoy sila sa five hours, no? Five-hour concert. Uh, limang oras yun, mahirap gawin yun. <laughs> Gates open at five o'clock, actually. So, dapat andun sila. <laughs> so, it's going to be at the Cuneta Astrodome yes. on October 20, and you can get your tickets from Ticketnet and Ticket World. We are heading into your last song for us tonight. Uh -huh. It's a new song. It is, yes. it is. Um, it's called Cebuanong Dako. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's not really a new song. Kasi, uh, kaya ako sinasabing new song. Uh, nung, yung huling original album na nirelease namin ng Asin, kasama to, yung uh, Asin sa Atubiling Panahon. So, I wrote a song. And this is actually halong Tagalog Cebuano ito. So, uh, alam mo naman, ang mga Cebuano, uh, yung humor nila is nakakatuwa. So, bago ito sa pandinig nila, as, uh, na, kasi nasanay sila, naririnila ako, tinutugtog ko yung Kimi, ganyan. This is really a new beat, no? This is Cebuanong Dako. I wrote this mga um, 1980, late 80s, pero bago ito sa, sa pandinig nila. Well, this is your last song for us tonight, so thank oh, last you so song much. last song tayo? Yes. Bakit? Do you want to play another one? <laughs> Let me just explain, Cebuanong Dako is, uh, it is about, uh, you know, yung humor ng Cebuan is, ayay, kuyawa, oy. O, di ba? Yun ang, yun ang common humor ng mga Cebuano. Eh, eto, sinulat, sinulat ko to, <clears throat> um, saksak sinagol, meaning, halong Tagalog and Cebuano. So, I hope, uh, yung mga nanonood dyan sa kanilang FB, this is para din sa, sa mga Cebuano, not, Actually, it's all of the people who are in the world. Okay? Well, thank you so much, Lolita, for you, Robert, being here. Yeah. Oh. And thank you guys for watching.
October 20. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sige nga. Para sa inyo na ulitin ko lang po. Mga kaibigan, October 20. 5 o'clock ang bukas ng gate sa Coneta Astrodome. Tickets available at uh, call 0918. Ah. Ah. 0916. 6392291. No? We do the great Juan de la Cruz band, Maria Campra, Resti Babunan, the youth, Razorback, Basti Artadi, uh, the, the Woods, Hilera, Queso, SG band, at marami pang iba. Limang oras yan. SG band. Okay. Chonkies. O oh, banda lang yan, Chonkies. Ha? Chonkies. Okay? I love you guys. See you. Conecta Astrodome. Come on, Ami. Play the... Beatbox. Beatbox pa lang yan, ha? hindi pa yan drum set.